What's up, guys? We got anybody in here yet? Uh, if you can hear me, say hello. Just jumped on the TikTok, about to start making some cool stuff. It's, it's really weird. I can see people joining, but it, it doesn't show that anybody's here. Can y'all can y'all hear me? I'm not sure. This is working. Send me that the the cool smiling sunglasses emoji face if you guys can hear me. Shows 110. Okay, I don't know why it's not showing anything to me. What is this? That's really weird. I guess they changed the uh, the screen format here. Okay, you guys can hear me. Cool. Well, uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning these two uh, 1988 quarters into little cowboy hats. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, go ahead and put the little cowboy hat emoji, and uh, we'll, we'll get started on this. So the first thing we need to do is dome the v very middle of these. And that's going to make the part of the hat where you put your head in. And we've got some really nice tools to do this. Uh, these are made by the Unminted Coin Company. He's a great dude. His name is Jonathan. Good friend of mine. And he's made these tools. And I, I really just, I love them. I think they're super cool. So to keep them from messing up. See, we've already got a little bit of a dome in there. That's going to help center it. I'm going to take this one off because it's just plastic and I don't want it to get damaged as this coin kind of pushes up as I push down on it. So we're going to push it a little bit more here. Just get a real nice center dome on that. Doesn't that look cool? I'll go ahead and do one more. How's it going guys? Y'all having a good day so far? Say, hey, I'm on a roll. I just finished making like three coin rings, a bunch of TikTok videos. I figured, heck, let's hop on live, see if anybody wants to watch me make some stuff. Uh, if, if you'd like to order anything that I make, you can go to uh, coinringmaker.com. And uh, since you're on my live, you guys can use the coupon code WELCOME. It'll save you 10%. Anything you order this week, uh, you'll get a bonus skull and crossbone penny. So I'm sending these out with any order this week. So uh, just a little bonus incentive to go check out my website. And uh, you can do that by tapping this logo up here and the link on my profile. And you know what? I can actually add a little shop link right now. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, there should be like a little gold. You ordered the 71 ring? I just finished it. Um, one of my most recent videos, you can go see it there, man. I just finished that one. Uh, it's actually, it's packaged up here. So, <laughs> I wish I could show it to you, but it's, it's already packed and ready to go. Um, but you can see a video of it being made. Well, kind of. Uh, it's it's a shorter video, but uh, yeah, you can check that out on my profile. Uh, it's only illegal to alter currency if you're doing it fraudulently, so that would be taking like a penny and making it appear to look like a dime. Uh, alteration of U.S. currency has been around a long time. I don't know if you've ever seen like a penny smasher at an amusement park, uh, but they've been around since like the 50s and 60s, and they're still around today. And no one's ever gone to jail for uh, folding coins and making them into something else. Uh, it's, it's really when you start committing fraud, that's, that's where you get into illegal stuff. And I'm not doing that. So don't worry. I do have a blog post on my website that goes more in depth. Uh, if you'd like to check that out, it's right at the top of coinringmaker.com. Okay, so what we're doing now, I'm kind of skipping around here. We've got the center domed on these hats. Hey, I can see how many people are in the live now. Here we go, 250. Awesome, awesome. So there's our quarter so far with the center domed. I don't know why I wasn't showing it earlier. What's up, Shayna? Say so we're making some cowboy hats. 
and this is going to uh, fold over the sides. I only work on US currency, uh, mostly for legal reasons, uh, just because I, I understand the laws around US, US currency, and I know what I can and can't do. Uh, if I started messing with like world coins, um, I'd have to do a lot more legal research. <laughs> And I honestly just don't have, I don't have the time for it. Maybe sometime in the future. But for now, it's its all U.S. coins. Uh, do I have any from 1945? I can check. I think I do. Let me see. get into my 1940 bag here. How's it going, guys? 2, 2, 46, 47, 44, 41, 40, 41, 42. It doesn't like I, look like I have any 45 quarters. Um, I could get one for you if you'd like, uh, but I don't have any in stock. Let me check my half dollars real quick. Sorry, guys. Just bear with me for a second. I'm just seeing if I've got a coin for this guy. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese coins, there's a problem with copyright there. Uh, so that's one reason I haven't really messed with like any Disney or Star Wars or even Chuck E. Cheese, because uh, they have uh, trademarks on those coins, and I could get into legal trouble uh, messing with, with trademarked stuff. Even though I'm just altering it, um, I think I could get into trouble there, so I haven't messed with them very much. I'm making these quarters into little cowboy hats, and then we'll make them into keychains. But I do want to check and see if I have a 1945 half dollar. I'm pretty sure I do. Thank you for the rose. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind tapping the screen, uh, send in some likes my way that lets TikTok know uh, you like what you're seeing, I'm doing a good job, and I sure would appreciate it. Looky there. <laughs> you go go attack that snow, girl. Show who's boss. So I do have a 1945 90% uh, silver half dollar. Uh, if this is um, something you'd like made into a ring, uh, let me know, and we can actually work on that right here on this live if you go place an order. Uh, if anybody else would like to see a ring uh, get made live, you can tap this logo right here at the top and visit my uh, website and go place an order. And uh, I'll be making whatever orders uh, come in on this live uh, as soon as I finish this cowboy hat. I think the uh, silver half dollars are 125. Let me double check. I make a lot of different coin rings, so it's it's hard to keep all the prices in my head. But I'm looking here. Yeah, Walking Liberty half dollar, 90% uh, silver is 125 dollars. All right. So I'm going to just, uh, I'll keep that back here. Uh, if you do place the order, let me know in the chat and uh, we'll get to work on it. Uh, for now, we're going to finish these cowboy hats. And what we've done so far for everyone who's missed it is we've domed the center of this quarter pretty dang well. We got a nice little bulge there. And now we're going to fold over the sides and finish it up as a hat. Yeah, and um, you can get them on my website, coinringmaker.com. There's a link on my profile there. You can go to my store or my Etsy, and uh, you can use the coupon code WELCOME. It'll save you 10% off anything you order. And I'm also, as like a little bonus incentive this week, uh, for anyone who orders, I will be sending out a uh, free one of these. This is my skull and crossbone penny. So anything you order, I will be sending one of those out with it. There's our little hats so far. What's going on, Ben? Making hats. 
Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys haven't followed me yet, please consider giving me a follow. Our like count right now is uh, 800 likes. It just passed 800 likes. So you guys are crushing it. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to need to make these into keychains. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a hole in the top of these. I'm going to have to move the phone over. So bear with me just a second. And this is, uh, for anyone who's wondering, this is a Capri tools hole punch. This is like the best punch I've found for, for coins. Uh, every other punch I've used has basically broken on me. So if you're looking for a good hole punch, this is what I recommend. We're going to try and make sure we get this uh, just the right spot. So I make sure I've got it far enough in first, and then I look over the top and make sure it's nice and centered. Okay. Uh, we've got 1,800 likes right now. That's awesome, guys. That's, that's a thousand likes in like two minutes or something. That's incredible. There we go. There's our first hole punched. And we'll go ahead and do this one. Thanks for the TikToks, Dan. There we go. 2,400 likes. You guys are killing it. That's awesome. So there's our two holes, and now we're going to put uh, jump rings on these and finish them up as uh, little keychains. But before I do that, I'm going to hit them with some of the steel wool. That's just going to shine them up a little bit. Right now they look a little bit dull. And uh, this stuff works magic right here. This will just bring a little bit of the shine back to the coin. Still going to look a little rustic because it's a cowboy hat. Can't be too shiny, but we'll give it a little shine. Three thousand two hundred likes. Very nice. That's cool, man. Yeah, I haven't messed with necklaces too much. I don't wear necklaces, and I'm not really sure what kind of, like, chain to get, because I'd have to get a whole bunch of them, I'm sure, and there's just so such a variety of necklace styles, I, I can't make a decision. Uh, I haven't got to work on the cut coins since I did those first few. Um, I've been a little busy with home stuff. This is the first time I've got to hop on a live in a while. Uh, with holidays and stuff, I've, I've had to take a little break. I'm hoping to get back into a rhythm, though. Yeah, this is a quarter. Well, it used to be. It's not a quarter anymore. Don't recommend trying to spend it. Now it's a cowboy hat. I, I like doing them, but it's, it's tricky. So what we got here is we got two jump rings, our cowboy hat coins, and two keychains. And we're gonna just squeeze all these together here. Pretty cute, right? If you guys like that, go ahead and give me a little cowboy hat emoji down there. Let me know what you think. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Let me know that too. Any feedback is good feedback. Finish the second one up here. There we 
go. Nice. Well, if uh, you guys want to get anything made by me, you can go to coinringmaker.com. Uh, there's also a link on my profile. You already have one. Nice. Yeah, I like these a lot. I think they're really cool. Honestly, the penny cowboy hats are my favorite, but the quarter ones are pretty neat too. And uh, like I said, if you'd like to get something for joining me here on my live, uh, you can use the coupon code WELCOME, and it'll save you 10% uh, off your order. I'm going to go ahead and check my store real quick, see if anybody's placed an order. Nice. Man, I love it when, when customers come on here and tell me they like what I've made for them. That's, that's so nice, guys. I really do appreciate it. Can you see a penny hat? Yeah. So this one's a little rough. This is one of my earlier ones. You can see it's not centered. It was it's in my mistake. So this this isn't exactly what it would look like. Yours would be perfectly centered. Um, I've actually sent out all the ones I have that were good. I just sent them out um, as like bonuses with some orders recently. And since I ran out of those, I've been sending these out as like a little bonus, a little thank you for people's orders. Uh, and I'm going to continue doing that for the rest of this week. So if, uh, if you want to get one of these for free, uh, just go to corneringmaker.com, order anything. You could order a sticker. Uh, and I'll send you one of these as just a little New Year's thank you. Yeah, dude, he's got he's he's got almost <laughs> every coin. Those uh, those speed rollers are dope. Right here, on hand, ready to go. <laughs> Time's coming out tomorrow. Nice, man. Keeping up that grind. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by. That's all I really had to work on. So I'm going to get these packed up. And uh, I hope you all have a good day. I've posted a couple videos uh, today already if you want to go check them out. They'll be on my profile. You can just uh, tap this logo up here. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I, I really do, man. Word, word of mouth means a lot. Um, as far as sizing for rings, the best thing to do is to go to a jewelry shop and have them professionally size it. Because uh, guessing, especially with like larger rings like this, is just bad news. Uh, if I can get an accurate ring size, your ring's going to come out better. It's going to be more comfortable. And we won't have to worry about, like, shipping it back and forth and resizing it. Um, so if, if you could do me that one favor and just go to a jewelry shop, it should be free. Take you about five minutes. And uh, that way we'll know uh, exactly what ring size you need. Let's see here. So the penny cowboy hats... Uh, they're ten dollars uh, but if you get i think it's four or more they go down to six dollars so if you want to get quite a few uh, there's a kind of a bulk savings and you can use the coupon code welcome to save 10 percent as well But uh, like I said, I'm going to hop off of here and get these packaged up. I do appreciate you guys coming in here and joining me for a little bit. Uh, if you haven't followed me, go ahead and follow me real quick right now. Your name will show up down here. And um, everybody will get to see that you followed me. And that will be really cool. Um, 
but I guess I'll just, I'll leave these here on screen and start packing them up. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to leave it in the chat. Um, and uh, if you place an order, I'll work on it right now. Uh, just go to cornringmaker.com, find something you like, and, and I'll get to work on it. Good afternoon. So I'm just pulling up the shipping information for these two right now. Uh, you too, man. Uh, have a great day. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them in the chat. Uh, we're at kind of a standstill because I finished all the orders I needed to make. Um, so I am offering to make you know, the next order that comes in live right right now uh, so if you guys want to go check out my website uh, you can tap this logo up here and then the link on my profile just see some of the stuff I make I think there's like a, a gold chain that'll take you to my store down here too um, and you can use coupon code welcome to save 10% that's my little thank you for joining me here on the live uh, just go check out my stuff and if you see something you like place an order and I'll make it So for anyone who's just joined in, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make uh, coins into rings, keychains, little cowboy hats, uh, lots of cool stuff. And I like to make orders here on TikTok Live uh, in front of people. 
So if you want to take a moment and go visit my website or the store linked at the, the bottom of the page here, uh, check out what I've got. If you see something you like, you can place an order and I will make it right here in front of you. Yeah, I'm actually sending uh, these out. Uh, you get one for free uh, with any order this week. So that's going to end next Sunday. Um, but you can go order anything you want off the website and I'll send you one of these for free. Uh, you can you can even order just like a sticker or a magnet. Yeah. Or like a keychain or a ring or other cowboy hats. There's lots of cool stuff on there. Awesome. We've got an order. I'm stoked. Uh, if you place that order, let me know here in the live. Who did it? Who ordered the half dollar? Who was it? I'm going to let you uh, pick the coin we work on. Nineteen forty-five. All right. That's this one. It's actually only illegal to alter currency if you do it fraudulently. I've got a blog post on my website about it, cornringmaker.com, if you'd like to go and read it. Uh, but think about um, like penny smashers at amusement parks. They've been around a long time and nobody's shut them down. So uh, not illegal as long as I'm not committing fraud and I'm clearly turning it into jewelry and not trying to pass it off as a higher value coin. Um, uh, it's cool. I mean, some people just don't understand and I don't mind explaining it. Uh, no hate. But yeah, we'll get, we'll get started on this. Let me check what, what ring size you ordered. I'm excited. I really like these half dollars. They're fun. Size 15. That's going to be a big boy. Get my punch ready. Just a moment, let me get my tool set up and we'll get started. We're gonna be making this into a size 15 ring for my man, Kenneth. I appreciate your order, by the way. Thank you very much. Now, usually I punch them with a, uh, a half inch center punch, but because this is a size 15, we're gonna go up a little bit. We're going to do a uh, 9 16 inch punch on here. Makes me sad. I'd love to have that coin. Well, hey, man, they're they're freely available on uh, eBay. That's where I get mine. Uh, you can get them for about 15 bucks. That's correct. If, if uh, you're fraudulently altering the coin to make it appear like it's a more valuable coin, that is illegal, uh, and that's not what I'm doing. I'm making it into a ring. Let's get to it. So the first step in making a coin ring, and before we get started, I just want to politely ask you all to tap the screen a little bit, send some likes my way. Uh, TikTok seems to like it when people do that. I'm not sure would appreciate it. It's my dad's birth here. He's passing out and I wanted a ring for it. That's awesome, man. We'll, we'll get it done for you. I think this thing's going to come out really nice. We're gonna put it in here. And this is a really cool tool. This is gonna auto center the coin for us. Because of how this is shaped here. See how it's kind of cone shaped? So as uh, as we bear down and tighten this, it's gonna move that coin to the perfect center. It's 90% silver, 10% copper, and that's just the way they made them. Uh, if you'd like a 100% silver coin, I do uh, work with American Silver Eagles those boys are big we'll put our center punch in here and then we're gonna go over to our press which is over here and it's not lit very well so I do apologize for that I don't have the best lighting in this corner of my workshop this is I'll give you all a little better look at this press here 
It's a 12 ton hydraulic press. Really would love one of those. I still measure with marks. I do have uh, center guides on my Etsy and on my website for quarters um, that you can use with like a, a Harbor Freight punch and die kit. Uh, you can also find them on my recommended tool list on my website, I think. Uh, and they're like, they're pretty useful. And they're not going to cost you e even close to as much as this would. Uh, so if you want to check those out, give them a look. Uh, that's what I used when I first started. I couldn't find a good guide, so I just made one. But this is going to punch a hole right through the center of our coin. I don't have something I usually just make it myself uh, like this knob right here uh, you're supposed to use this whole stick to turn this thing and it drove me nuts so I just made a knob for it it's pretty useful here is our center punch pretty cool I gotta set y'all down for just a second Yeah, 3D printed. They are handy machines. So here you can see our coin is still stuck on this punch. I'm going to take a little plastic hammer and knock it off of there. Looking pretty dang good so far, I'd say. Give me just a second. I like to put up my tools when I'm done with them so I don't lose anything. So let me put these up. I'm not destroying it, I'm transforming it, bud. I'm making it into something. Kenneth can wear all the time to remember his dad. I think that's pretty badass. All right. So if you look at this edge where we punch that center out, it's actually pretty sharp. And to the touch, it's really rough. You can actually see some of the metal sticking up out of it. What we're gonna do is take a deburring tool and cut away that sharp edge. That's what I do, man. That's my whole gig. Just drawing coins. Uh, and it, if anybody would like to get a coin ring, you can go to coinringmaker.com. I uh, make a bunch of cool stuff out of coins. And you can use coupon code WELCOME to save 10%. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and watching me work on this. Some people are just a little sensitive about about coins, but uh I don't know when I first started I was I was kind of worried about it. But over time I've come to realize it's pretty cool. Well, this is kind of a slow, boring part, so if you guys wouldn't mind just tapping the screen while we get through it, we'll get on to some cool stuff here in just a second. Well, you can get them on eBay, man. They are readily available. Probably in nicer condition than this one. And do a little field check make sure we got this nice and smooth still a little rough on the edge
Looks pretty good. Sorry if I'm missing some chat. I got to focus on, on what I'm doing <laughs> a little bit. I actually am just collecting shavings for now, so that's what I'm putting in here. I don't have a torch hot enough to melt silver, but when I get one, I'll have a little, little bit to work with right off the bat. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this coin real quick. Show you how nice and smooth that inside edge is now. It looks a lot nicer. And the next step is to anneal this. For that, we're gonna use this torch. And we're just gonna heat up this metal to soften it up and make it easier to shape. And I'm just looking for the flame to turn kind of an orange color. You can see it's blue right now. And the coin gets hot enough, it'll turn orange. I guess green on this one. That should be good. We'll dunk it in some water to cool it off. I like when it gets this nice golden color to it, but it never stays on there. But it is it is cool. Yeah, I, I try and keep um, anything I can. I actually keep shavings from uh, copper clad quarters as well. So I've got collections of shavings around. This is a uh, hundred percent pure copper. These are from rounds. And then I've got another one that's a uh, hundred percent silver around here somewhere. But I try to uh, use every piece. I don't like wasting. We just passed 9,000 likes almost. We're at 8,900. And we're going to fold this. Do, 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 do. If you guys haven't followed me yet, please consider giving me a follow. Sure would appreciate it. I'll pop that in there. It just changes it. If you took some 2x4s and made a porch out of them, would you say you ruined the 2x4s? That's, I don't know, that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm just looking for the proper folding die here. Give me just a second. I think that's it. Yep. We got it slightly bent. I'm gonna bend it some more in this thing. see what's up. I need a hole underneath. Where did I get the piece that sticks on your press? This is one of my favorite tools. This is a Delrin puck with a magnet on it. This is made by uh, the Unminted Coin Company and I love it uh, because the end of this press here is really rough metal and it scratches and dings and is just really bad especially against silver. So having something like this in between and that's magnetic and just sticks right on there is so useful. I love it. It's, it's the smartest coin ring making tool I've seen out there. I really like it. I use it all the time. And he makes some other cool tools too. He makes the cowboy hat jigs, but I just love that. 
Delrune puck. It's super cool. So we got it nice and folded now. It's looking pretty good. We got 11,000 likes. Holy crap. That's awesome. So we're going to anneal this one more time. Uh, my name is Kevin, uh, but you can call me Coin Ring Maker. Kind of a persona brand thing. I don't know. So you can see this. Yeah. Satisfying. Thank you. Uh, you can use the coupon code WELCOME. It'll save you 10% off your order. And uh, just don't forget the website name, cornerringmaker.com. I think it's pretty easy to remember, but that's where you can order. Now let's see how big it is right now. So the cut edge is size 10. So the next step is to put it on the ring stretcher. And... Thanks, man. I really enjoy doing it. I think it's a lot of fun. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. We've got the ring on the ring stretcher here uh, with the cut edge down. And what I'm gonna do is stretch this out until this reeded edge until that gap is kind of cleared up and these walls are a little more straight. And I'll try and set this camera up so you can see me do it. Perfect. And as I'm doing this, you know what I need to do? I need to sand the cut edge. Because, uh, during this stretching process, what can happen is the coin can split right here on this cut edge. So I'm going to make sure I sand that down, make it nice and smooth, get rid of any micro cracks. And that's going to reduce the chance of us splitting our coin. I really don't want to do that. I'm going to check the comments real quick. Have you ever made a ring from a gold coin? I haven't worked with gold yet. It is on my 2022 bucket list. So it, it's a goal for this year. I've got you know, 363 days or something to try it out, but it is something I want to do. And uh, this is just a paper towel here between the ring and the ring stretcher so we don't have metal on metal contact. It's going to help us keep the details on this coin nice and sharp. And I'm starting to feel uh, resistance in the metal. I can feel it work hardening. So we're going to go ahead and anneal this one more time. Hop over here and do that. I think those would make really, really cool rings. Like, I would definitely like to work on one. Last year, I just couldn't afford it. Maybe this year. I'm hoping this year. We still got some stretching to do right now. It's at a 13 and a half. Just 
past a 14. Sand it a little more. Size 15 is a bit of a challenge, man. That's pretty big. You gotta be careful. Check where we're at. Size 14. to the stretcher. A lot of back and forth. to a 15 yet. Thank you guys. 13,000 likes. Pretty solid. First, I'll let you take a look at it. See how it's coming along. See how big this thing is? 
It's on my thumb right here. It's huge. How much more stretch does the coin have left? Um, <laughs> not much. I think 16 is as big as I've ever got a half dollar. And at this point, I have to start being really careful. And I actually have to go a little bit above a size 15. Because if you look at the shape of the ring here, it's, it's kind of in more on the cut edge. And this reeded edge kind of bells out. It's not exactly straight. So we're gonna have to go a little above a size 15 and then reduce this edge to match it up and make it the right size. 14,000 likes. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of phone taps. A lot of screen tapping right there. Thank you guys very much. And uh, for anyone who's just joined in, uh, you can use the coupon code WELCOME on my website. It'll t save you 10% off anything you order. Lots of cool stuff on there. Lots of different kinds of coin rings, keychains, coin cowboy hats, all kinds of cool stuff. If you want to check that out, I'll be working on this for probably another 20 minutes. <laughs> Because I really want to be careful with it. And even after we get it the right size and the right shape, we got to clean it up. Make it nice and shiny again. I think it's going pretty good so far. Go ahead and check the size on this. Just past a 15. So that's good. Probably go a little further. It's just shredding these paper towels. I usually use like blue shot paper towels, they're usually a little more. Tough. But I ran out of those. So this should probably be the last little stretch we need. There it is. Get a little better light here for you. Looking pretty good so far. But like I said, see how it kind of slants to the side? I need to reduce that down a little bit. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate your order. I really do. I'm glad you were able to stick around and watch. One of my favorite things to do is, is make jewelry live for people on TikTok. So I, I really appreciate you being here. So close. But the way this sits in here, it's like it's just just topped off. Let's see if it'll fit in this one. So 
it's just just hanging out outside of this one but we only have to reduce it a little bit <laughs> I'm trying. We're getting there. We still got a little bit of unevenness on it. And it's right at a 15. So I think I gotta stretch it out and reduce it some more. So we're just doing a little bit of back and forth here. from the stretcher to the reducer. And I'm also gonna cut away a little bit of this edge right here on the inside. There was just a little bit of a lip on here. You see where it's shiny? So I'm just gonna cut the rest of that little lip off there's not too much of one on these half dollars. I'm sorry I can't show you what I'm doing. This is something I need to <laughs> really pay attention to what I'm doing so I don't scratch the coin. So give me just a second. That looks good. Nice shiny edge right there. Well, thank you guys for following and sharing. I appreciate it. That's awesome. I am just trying to get the size and shape of this just right for you. So like I said, we're going kind of back and forth from the stretcher to the reducer until we get that shape we want. Looking pretty cool.
15,000 likes. Pretty much. Pretty cool. There it is, nice and even. So now we just gotta knock all this fire scale off of here. And this is my favorite part, because it goes from this kind of dull looking ring to really nice and shiny and beautiful. But to do that, we gotta move the camera over. So we're gonna do that over here. Do, do, do. take this magic stuff called steel wool. I'm just going to knock that fire scale off of here. Like I said, this is, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite kind of transformation on these rings. Look at that, and then look at that. Night and day. Yeah, zero, uh, four, zero. It's pretty fine. Take a look at it. I'm going to do the inside a little bit. And then we're going to put it in this uh, Sparex solution, or some people call it pickle. And that's going to help knock the rest of this fire scale that's kind of hiding in the cracks and crevices out of there. And we'll steel wool it again, hand polish it, and this sucker will be done. That's a big boy. Yeah, I just use this little glass jar. And then I stick it in the microwave. Because most of what I work on is uh, like copper clad. So when I do end up making a silver ring, I just microwave it and heat it up. And I made one earlier today, so this is still pretty hot. And that just needs to sit in there for a little bit. Uh, while that pickles, uh, y'all go check out my website. Use coupon code WELCOME if you want to order something. Uh, this has got to sit in here for about a minute. Uh, so just, uh, I don't know, stare at this jar for a minute. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, I think it's coming out really good. I, I'm liking the look of this ring. And you can probably already see it, maybe. But it is getting nice and shiny in here. This is a cool chemical reaction. 
get really nice shiny silver. Does the size of the ring affect the pickle time? Uh, not really. Um, I've had really good luck with uh, pure silver, 90% silver, and like uh, pennies that are copper in this. But like copper clad quarters, it doesn't seem to work very well. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe it's the nickel. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Pickle's good. I had another ring maker on me to uh, get some pickle for like a year straight, and I was scared of it. And I finally broke down and got some and started using it. And now I love it. It's great. Saves me some elbow grease. But you have to use copper to get your stuff out. So I've got copper tongs. So if I put steel in here, it would spoil the solution. I'm going to fish that out of there. I got this nice shiny. Oh, yeah. Very nice. We are making a walking liberty half dollar into a ring. We're almost done. We're just kind of cleaning it up right now. I'll wash that pickle off in this other water. Dry it off. Give y'all a look at it. And I do get kind of this uh, yellow, yellowish white on the silver after the pickle, but that comes off really easy with the steel wool. I know that seems a little repetitive to use steel wool and then pickle and then steel wool again, but I really do try and get my rings as shiny as I possibly can. And this is the best way I've found to do it. So we're just gonna knock that off of there. that steel wool again. And again, as a uh, thank you for joining me here on my live, you can use the coupon code WELCOME. Works on my website, coinringmaker.com, and on my Etsy. Saves you 10% off everything. And that coupon is like eternal. It will work forever. So if you don't want to get something today, but you know a week or a month or a year from now, you want to come back and check out my website, use the coupon code WELCOME, and it'll uh, save you a little bit of money. There we go. Look at the shine. You can't even read it because it's so shiny. Now we're gonna get a jewelry polishing cloth and make it even shinier. I'm bending over way too much. And I really like these polishing cloths because like when you start out, it's, it's pure white, right? And it kind of like shows you how much crud you get off of here, or oxidized metal. Because the whole thing turns black. So you can really see if there's a lot on there or not much left by how much black it leaves. I'll do the inside. It's looking really good. Get that reeded edge nice and shiny. Look at that. I know my fingers are dirty, but this ring is clean. Yeah, if you guys haven't followed me yet, please give me a follow. I sure would appreciate it. And I'm a big sucker for shiny silver, so I really try to get these as nice as I can. I'm 
we'll go back over to the Arbor Press here and give you guys a real nice close look at this ring. It looks good. Thank you. I, I enjoy it. I really have a lot of fun doing this. Boom. Look at that. Gorgeous. And got that 45 on there for you, sir. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? You know, rate it one out of ten. What would you give it? It's pretty good, man. That Liberty across there. It's a good looking ring. Got all these nice details on the inside too. Ten out of ten. That's that's what I like to hear. Thank you very much. I like the way they look like this. That's a good angle. But the light, it's too shiny, guys. It's too shiny. Can't even see the details. They're there. It's just too shiny. Yes. I really like this ring. You see the United States of America on the inside there? Before I knocked it over. See that? Yeah, a lot of people like the antique look. Um, I don't like working with liver of sulfur. Uh, it's really stinky, and it stains my fingers. And, I mean, silver just shines so well. Like, look at that. I just, I love, I love the shine of silver. Uh, the best way to measure your finger is to go to a jewelry store and have them size you. That way you're going to get an accurate size. shouldn't cost you anything. take you about five minutes. And uh, that way we know that your ring is going to fit when you get it. Try the other stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's another way to do it. I've seen people do it with, like, eggshells. Um, but honestly, I I like shiny. I like shiny rings, so I I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with it as a kind of a trademark. Yeah. Uh, how much? This one was one hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's a ninety percent silver half dollar from nineteen forty-five. I've got quite a few half dollars. If you'd like to to pick a year, I also do uh, quarters. Morgan dollars, peace dollars, American eagles. Um, I also make coins into cowboy hats, and and some other cool stuff. Uh, you can check out my website. I've got all my prices there. Well, thank you very much, John boy. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like them. Uh, 1966, I do, um, but it would be copper clad, which means there's a chance that it can turn your finger green. Um, they didn't make uh, silver, silver quarters stopped being made in, uh, after 1964. So the 60s are kind of tricky. I'm never satisfied. I'm going to polish this some more. Yeah, no problem. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, feel free to ask. I'm all caught up on orders right now. So if you'd like to see something get made, you can go to coinringmaker.com. All right, you have a good day, Shana. Thanks for stopping by. Always nice to chat with you. 
go get some work done. Yeah, I'm just getting this really nice and shiny now. Look at that. You can actually see the light reflected off the ring on my Arbor Press. Can you see that? That's how shiny it is. That's crazy. Well, if you guys haven't followed me yet, uh, please consider giving me a follow. Uh, I'm probably going to hop off of here now. But I have posted quite a few videos today, if you want to go to my profile and check them out. Leave a nice comment. It's always good. And uh, as always, have a great day. I'm going to get this uh, shipped out to you, bud. I sure do appreciate your order. And I hope you like your ring. Alright, y'all have a great day. We'll see you later.